have here. We got a new package, another day, another car part. Got a new rear diffuser for the E92. Um, this is probably the most uh, aggressive style that they have online. I want to replace mine because the fitment was never really that tight. Look at how much room there is. So I had to put like a rubber gasket to kind of make it look flush and I don't know. I just want it to be perfect. And then if you look down, it's not completely straight. So I'm going to take it off and take off my uh, diffuser underneath and try and put the new one on and see how it fits. So the first thing that I need to do is take off this custom little diffuser that I have. I'm having a bit of a hard time pulling it off but uh, if there's double sided tape just use a heat gun and be sure not to go too close to the uh, actual paint but just heat it up you should be able to pull it right off. So I took the old one off and I was dumb enough to let a shop put it in before and man they drilled right into the bumper right here like who would do that? Are you serious? It just shows you that you need to do your own work if you want to get it done right and if you mess up you know that's on you but like <sighs> makes me so mad. <laughs> so everything's off. Um... Honestly, the car looks really nice without anything. <laughs> I just did a test fit for the new one. It looks like it's going to have a little bit of the same issue, but not as bad. So the new one's all on. I pre-drilled these little holes on the bottom. And when it's all nice and flush, if I mount this one nice and deep in the back, it should fit a lot better so I'm actually pleased and <laughs> really thankful that I didn't just waste all that money for the same issue <laughs> um, if anyone's getting this sort of rear diffuser just be careful um, this one is really hard to get good placement on the sides especially and I got some rubbing alcohol this is all dried up. I put some double sided tape and what I made sure to do is to put it just a little bit deeper in because I don't want to see any of that tape from the top. So I had to put a few extra layers of double sided tape. It's finally sticking. Still working on this side, but honestly, that's pretty flush now compared to before. Maybe add a little bit more tape right here and see if it will adhere a little bit better. But overall, I'm just pleased that I don't got that ugly gasket around the lip anymore. Almost done putting that secondary diffuser on, and overall, I'm just really happy that. I didn't buy a piece of crap again. <laughs> so, it looks a lot better. 
Pittman's not exactly perfect, 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 but shoot, for three hundred dollars versus two grand, I'm not complaining. If it's a lot better than the old one, so I don't know. I'm gonna try and sell this one. Someone's probably gonna be able to fit this on their car. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease. Um, if they're comfortable with heating it up, it'll probably probably work better. What's up, everyone? I'm kind of bored tonight and uh, I was able to bring in this car from the carport, park it in the garage and I just always appreciate and realize how blessed I am to have both these cars in this garage and just seeing them together is just really cool. Um, I'm getting into really recording a lot more and just having fun so I'm gonna just do a few edits kind of just challenge myself uh, creatively and see what kind of footage I can do with just the cars parked in the garage I guess <laughs> um, but yeah uh, this is always cool for me to see and I always feel like I'm just walking into heaven when I see both of these cars especially uh, parked in heaven. Thank you.